Hello everybody, welcome to number 8 of my top 10 favorite puzzles. This is Tripum's Megamorphix. It's the four layered version of his Morphix style puzzles. The reason that this one is not so much closer to the top than the others is because this is the, you know, the one custom puzzle that I've had the longest and it's lost a bit of its novelty because of that. However, don't get me wrong, it's not that I don't think it's a very good puzzle, I just am so excited about the newer ones that I have as well. So, um, you know, being a 4x4x4 four by four by four puzzle, this one um, has added parity, which is really, really cool. Um, a lot of people wouldn't agree with me, but I, I actually like dealing with parity. It's something to think about, and it, you know, it's a little bit more of an interesting solve for me when I actually have to think. This used to say uh, Megamorphix, but it has rubbed off with the amount of time that I have played with this. And because uh, it's a Morphix style puzzle, you know, one thing I want to say about this real quick is that a lot of people have messaged me, you know, about the Morphix puzzles and says, how, how is it a 4x4? Because it's got four faces. Uh, I'll explain it right now. As you can see, these four centers, these are the center pieces, these are the edges, and these are the corners. And just because you're looking at it like this does not make this a center. Technically, on this kind of puzzle, this would be the center of the color scheme, but you don't treat this as a center of the cube. The center of the cube are these ones here. And because you've got one, two, three, four, five, and six. That makes it a six-sided puzzle, and you've got four corners here, four corners there, and then all your edges as well. And that's how it has turned into, you know, that's that's how it is a four by four cube, even though it looks like just a four-layered triangle thing. Anyways, it's really, really fun. It shape shifts, and uh, like the other ones, uh, it does not jumble when it shape shifts. This one does have a little bit of a tendency to pop. It has popped a couple of times and uh, it's a little bit difficult to get back together. It's a, almost a puzzle in itself because of the shapes and you will see that uh, that the turning is actually really, really good. In fact, it's so good that I have to be careful that it doesn't pop on me. And I have adjusted the tensions to try not to allow it to pop, but it does anyway sometimes. So, But it's usually not a very big explosion unless I'm trying to speed solve it. So there we go, there's the Megamorphix. This is a custom handmade puzzle using epoxy sculpt by Tripum, and it is number eight on my list. So now go ahead and check out the other numbers and see what other favorite puzzles I have.